Channel 2 News begins right now with breaking news. And we begin with the breaking news the world is watching right here in Houston. A missing mother from Austin found dead in Northwest Harris County. Her body in the trunk of a car. Her baby found alive. The very latest information coming into our newsroom now. Heidi Broussard's cause of death was ligature strangulation. That coming from the medical examiner's office just over an hour ago. And we are tracking all the latest developments regarding the Houston woman charged in connection with the case. Megan Firamuska, described as Broussard's close friend. Tonight, we're learning just how close they were. The search for Heidi Broussard and her newborn baby had been going on since December 12th. The initial search was focused in Austin, but now our area is the center of this investigation. And there are still many, many questions. We have live team coverage starting with our Mario Diaz. And Mario, you spoke with Tim Miller with Texas EquiSearch. He talked with Megan Firamuska at length just days ago. Keith, indeed he did, which is why he says that these developments over the last 24 hours have caught him completely off guard because when he spoke with her, she made it clear that she wanted to help law enforcement find her lost friend and her child. And man, we just don't have anything narrowed down in the investigation to, to really get a, a credible search area. This is what Tim Miller of EcuSearch was hearing from law enforcement regarding the frantic investigation into the disappearance of 33-year-old Heidi Broussard and her newborn daughter, Margot Carey. How in the hell does something like this happen? What happened has shocked the state and the nation. The strangled body of Broussard discovered a week after her disappearance inside of her longtime friend's home in Harris County Thursday night. Megan Firamuska? Megan Firamuska is now facing charges of kidnapping and tampering with a dead corpse. Miller spoke with Firamuska on Sunday for 45 minutes. He says she was willing to help with the investigation. In hindsight, how convincing was her story? Extremely convincing. Extremely. And, 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 uh, and in all honesty, you know, Shane's stories were just not real consistent. And when Megan was telling me all this stuff, I was, I, seriously, I, you know, I hate to say it, but I was, I was really leaning towards possibly that Shane had done something. But it is Firamuska who is now in jail. Law enforcement's investigation is far from over. They are searching for answers from the man that also was detained inside the home on Bojack Drive. The property in Houston continues to be an active uh, scene. We are investigating multiple locations between Austin and Houston and in the surrounding areas. Let's not forget that at the center of this, you also have an infant child born just a few weeks ago. Officials during their news conference this afternoon in Austin said they are working to try to officially confirm that that was the missing child in this case. However, they are waiting for a DNA test to come back within the next 24 to 48 hours. Reporting live in downtown Houston, Mario Diaz, KPRC, Channel 2 News.